What's going on everybody? It's your boy the low-key legend. How the fuck y'all doing today? I'm doing all right today. I am back with a brand new episode of Stoner Tips for you guys. Today we are back with 98 of the stoner tips series bro 98 deep two away from the crazy 100 milestone mark of the stoner tips series want to thank each and every one of you guys real quick for joining in for any one of these stoner tips series that i have uploaded it goes a long way appreciate all the support i have been getting from you guys smash that like button if you do enjoy today's topic we are going to be talking about extendos so if you do learn something today or do enjoy the video at all be sure to smash that thumbs up button and let's dive right on into this video episode 98 of the stoner tips series extendos all right so if you guys don't know what an extendo is let me fill you in real quick odds are a lot of you guys probably will know what an extendo is but if you are the few that have not experienced an extendo go out and do this like right now because it is definitely going to be worth it an extendo is when you take two blunts tie them both together um and when i say tie you kind of just lick one side of one blunt and at the end and lick the inside of another blunt at the end and pretty much just tie them together stick them together with your saliva as much as you possibly can and what you will have is a very long swisher okay and what you could do with that super long swisher fill that bitch with weed and roll that bitch up and you will have a super long blunt all right extendos are definitely a super cool way of getting high it's pretty much the exact same scenario as a blunt except it's super long actually it's double the length of a regular blunt and they smack very decent but here's the thing you guys have to roll them correctly all right if you don't roll them correctly it's kind of just a waste like if even if you have a small hole inside the extendo it's gonna fuck the whole thing up and i've smoked extendos personally where i had to go out and just rip the blunt in half or not the blunt but rip the extendo in half simply to avoid that hole and it kind of sucks because you need to really pearl this extendo when you're rolling it you can't have any holes in it. The weed needs to be very, very fine grinded. And rolling it is kind of a different, you know, little scenario because there's going to be a lot more swisher that you need to, uh, be aware of at each side of the blunt so if you're starting from the left and you're rolling this blunt up you have to be very gentle with the entire process and the entire situation of rolling it wherever you are it's going to take some time a lot more time than it would a regular blunt but in the end man take as much time as you need to because you need to pearl this extendo if you do want to smoke it the most efficient way possible you cannot roll an extendo and have a hole right in the middle and expect to get the full effect of a regular blunt if you do try that it's still gonna burn but it's not gonna burn the correct way and you're not gonna catch the full amount of high simply because there's a hole somewhere in the extendo so make sure when you're rolling this extendo you guys have somebody that knows what they're doing and has a lot of practice with it because it's not something you could just try your first time in pearl all right you might get lucky but in the end extendos is like rolling a whole different type of blunt all right it's like rolling something completely different simply because you have to really pearl that thing in order to successfully get get it to the point where you have no holes and you could smoke it like a regular blunt except super long now they do have extendo pre-rolls all right and when i say that you can go into certain tobacco stores and you could buy extendos that are in swisher packages already so that's going to be a lot more beneficial i feel like that's going to be a little bit easier to roll for you guys as well it's pretty much a nine inch blunt and you would gut it like you would a normal blunt and gut it fill it up with weed and it's going to be a little bit easier for you guys to manage and instead of going with the entire method of attaching two blunts together and having you know one big blunt that way you can buy these things pre-rolled gut them pack them and roll it back up like you would a normal blunt now these things i don't know if they sell them everywhere you might have to shop around a little bit i do know that they should sell them in tobacco stores every tobacco store around my area does have them certain gas stations have them as well but what i want to say is they don't have them everywhere so you might have to look around try different places if you guys have the opportunity to because extendo pre-rolls are the way to go man i think there's only two flavors that i've seen it's like red and green but in the end they're both just you know a slightly different flavor in the end they're all the fucking same they're just regular blunts and experience my personal experience with smoking them they there's no really difference
difference between the two. All right, but in the end, I'm sure you guys, if you guys are very, very, you know, picky with your uh, flavors and everything, I'm sure you guys will taste a very little slight change, but it's not that deep at all. Um, and I would recommend doing that, but if you guys want to do something, you know, maybe roll like an Extendo Dutch or an Extendo... I don't even know if you could roll an Extendo Backwood. I've never done that. But if you want to roll an Extendo Dutch, that's when you would have to really use a decent amount of saliva. Tie the two Dutches back to back once they're gutted. So you just have the wrap and then you could pack them up from there and roll yourself an Extendo. Now, Extendos are a pretty good way to go, especially if you're smoking with a lot of people and you do want to get really high. Uh, but you you should be in an environment where it's gonna be cool and you're just gonna be able to chill and smoke this thing. I would recommend indoors. I never, I have smoked it, uh, extendos outdoors, but I feel like blunts would be a little more acceptable outdoors simply because you are wasting some smoke, but in the end, you're not wasting a lot of smoke. If you roll an extendo pack, you know, a fucking eighth in an extendo and smoke that bitch outside the wind's taking a hit every time bro so just keep that in mind if you do want to go outside and smoke that it make sure you know you're in a nice environment where it's not going to be a lot of wind if you are smoking outside preferably a car i like to do that pull up a hot box with a fucking fat ass extendo got a lot of good memories doing that but in the end man extendos are are very very beneficial if you guys want to try that out you definitely should you're gonna get high as fuck off of it i've tried to smoke solo extendos to myself never successfully did it um and i i would usually make it you know about a quarter of the way and nah, I, I would maybe about halfway but if i'm if i roll an extendo for personal use for myself i like to make sure that thing that thing's gonna last me like three or four smoke sessions so i'll die it out after i catch a nice high and then come back to it and i still have you know like a fucking super fat blunt super long blunt and it's dope as hell like them things are definitely beneficial if you guys have not tried it yet go to your local tobacco store and ask them if you if they have extendos if you don't see them if not you should shop around and try to get them if you can't find the extendo pre-rolls that come in the swisher packages then go ahead and pick up two regular swishers or just a pack of regular swishers and you could gut them both tie them up together and when i say tie like i said before you just lick one side of one one blunt lick the inside of another blunt and you merge them together like that simply by using saliva squash them down real nice load that bitch up with weed and it's gonna be a lot of practice a lot of skill to roll an extendo without it falling apart without it you know having a little hole in it somewhere but once you do get it down packed it's more of a thing you can't really practice you just have to take your time with it you have to take your time and you cannot rush rolling an extendo because the saliva needs time to cool into and you know merge the two blunts together and even at that even when it's fully merged you're still going to need to take some time because it's going to be very delicate when you are trying to roll it so make sure you take your time with it if it takes five ten minutes maybe to roll this thing that's perfectly fine definitely take your time with it because you are gonna want to pearl this thing once you get it rolled once it's pearled that is gonna be the most beneficial way to roll an extendo bro you're gonna be smoking that bitch every hit is just gonna i mean it's the same as a blunt in the end it's just gonna last a lot longer than normal blunt would simply because it's that much longer you know it's got three four maybe five inches of a difference on a blunt than a you know a normal blunt would so in the end man if you guys haven't tried extendos be sure to go try them out like i said shop around for them or buy them online whatever you guys can do to get your hands on them or just go into a swisher store or a tobacco store buy a pack of swishers try to roll one out if you don't get it on your first try don't kick yourself in the ass about it just try again it's gonna you know it might take a couple times before you actually pearl it and if it's not pearled and there's a little hole in it i wouldn't even risk it just rip that bitch wherever the hole is and you have two blunts from there on out so in the end it's a win-win situation whatever you want to think of it as drop in the comment section though guys if i missed any tips on this topic extendos i definitely wanted to hit this on episode 98 or at least before the episode 100 mark i'm coming really close on it i still don't know what i want to do i know you guys want to see a smoking vlog but i'm this deep on the youtube channel and i know that i might might be risking it all if I do upload a you know a vlog of me on episode 100 smoking a blunt in front of you know on camera in front of you guys I don't want to be you know taken down on some bullshit like that I don't want any you know hot attention on this YouTube channel I kind of want to stay where I'm at I want to stay low-key with it and just help my little you know 
the little community of stoners that I have right now on any tips that they may need in the future or, you know, for whenever the case may be. You feel me? I want to stay, I don't want to stay low key, but I don't want to lose this YouTube channel trying to risk it all, you know, just uploading a smoking vlog because I know that it would get a lot of positive feedback and, you know, I'd get a lot of, you know, connection with you guys as well because I know a lot of you guys want to see that, but I'm still, you know, going through a couple different things. I'm going to upload episode 99 very shortly. Once I do, I'm going to take a break from stoner tips and I will not be uploading stoner tips until... I have the balls to upload that episode 100 or I might if I think of a different idea for episode 100 I won't even smoke on camera and I'll just drop that video because I am gonna be pre making stoner tips so I'm gonna be making episodes you know from here on out I'll probably have you know episode 101 102 103 already recorded before I even drop a hundred so I'm gonna see where it goes but I don't want to lose this channel at all. I don't want to upload anything stupid. All the time and hard work I put into this channel, I don't want it, you know, just to go downhill simply because I uploaded one wrong video. So I'm going to just keep that all in mind. I want to let you guys, you know, informed on that just, you know, in case anything, you know, happens or whatever. But in the end, man, that's episode 98 of the Stoner Tip series. I'm going to see you guys very shortly for episode 99. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy, smash that thumbs up button. It really goes a long way with this YouTube channel. Uh, I'm not partnered yet. Hopefully, I, I mean, I won't be anytime soon. I think I need like a half a million views a month. <laughs> so like by the time I'm partnered, I'm going to be already pretty blown up by then. I mean, not even blown up, but I'm going to be getting a lot of views if that ever happens, which, you know, I got my fingers crossed. Hopefully it will because I would love to do this shit, you know, full time and strictly upload stoner tips and just information for you guys but i'm just talking now bro so i'm gonna catch you guys tomorrow for a brand new video episode 99 of stoner tips thank you so much for watching episode 98 of stoner tips extendos if you did learn something smash the thumbs up button i'm gonna catch you guys very shortly y'all stay safe though stay savage stay low key it's your boy the low key legend i'm out of here guys adios